All right, so this is basically what I've done. I've basically put one of the lids and one of my PVC pipes, locked them in place. And then I put my coil inside of it, right? The finished coil, which is like this one, with the finished coil in it like this. Then in the center, I put a piece of this gum. This is a, a little gumball from an eraser. It's one of these very soft razors, er erasers, right? Rubber eraser. And then I basically put my ball on it. This makes the ball stay in its place. You see? It's not, you could use some silicone, it probably would be better. If this thing lets go, I'll, I'll go back and do some silicone, right? So then basically, I take this first level that I have here, the first coil, and then I place the lid on. And then I take the second coil. Well, this is actually the last one. I want to keep this long cable. So then, I'll take the second coil, put this in here, put this one around it, just grab a piece of that rubber, put that on there in the center, take my last ball put the cap on and then take my last coil this one can be free floating but just because I want it to look nice and neat I have another ring Right here. Then I put this cap on. And now all I have to do is connect my gravitational to the magnetic, gravitational, magnetic, gravitational, and then magnetic comes out. Basically, my gravitational is the one here coming in and then this magnetic is going to hook up to the next gravitational and then this magnetic to the next gravitational and then the magnetic at the top is the one that goes to my power supply again so this is basically the stack I want to tape it together to try to hold it all in place so I'm going to put some tape on this to make sure it stays in place but this is a nice stack and the balls are in the middle as you can see and that's basically the system Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, keep following. Hopefully this whole thing is going to turn out to be right. If not, I'm trying to get the errors out if I have any. And if nobody's got it right, then, well, we know enough. All right, guys. So this is my um, finished stacker. This is my end result. And I basically taped each unit so it's sealed. And then once it was one packet, I put the other packet underneath. So basically I start at the bottom and I taped it shut and then taped this one, taped this one, and then I taped them all together. I also put a PVC six inch cap underneath the bottom, which I initially planned to use for the rings, but they were just a bit too big. And so I put one underneath just as a spacer, a little platform for it to stand on. So what we're talking about now is basically this system here one piece I mean it's not something I want to throw around necessarily but my GANS balls are inside in the middle I don't think the light will show you in the middle but and it's all hooked up so I got the whole thing set up properly and at the bottom starting with well oh, let me just put that over there starting off here 
with the gravitational wire going in, going all around, coming out at the magnetic, the plus, that's hooked up again to my gravitational small one, and again going all the way up to the big one's magnetic, and then the magnetic big one hooked up again to the gravitational small one at the top, and then it's going all the way through and coming up in the magnetic here. So I got my minus, my plus, my gravitational, and my magnetic. So that's the final stacker, all right? Looking good, and it's all hooked up. I double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked everything. Everything is clean and cool. The only thing that I'm not sure about is what the hell Gans is. And, uh, but hell, I did what they said, and I mixed two Ganses, not the third one, but it's supposed to be fine. The more you get, the better. You get a higher, um, a higher value, but this thing should be fine. This is a beautiful copper and CO2 zinc Gans coated. Two coats, wires all wrapped, all counterclockwise, and it's all properly done, so this should be it.